Hello, welcome to Dry Creek Beekeeping. So in this video, I am going to be making a few different products out of honey and beeswax. Specifically, I am going to be making furniture polish, honey ice cream, and honey butter. All the recipes in this video come from this book right here. This book is called Beehive Alchemy, and it is a very good book if you're a beekeeper who wants to make things other than just honey. All right, so first we're going to make some furniture polish. For this, you're going to need beeswax, turpentine, and a way to melt down the beeswax. I'm doing a double boiler method shown in some of my previous videos with melting wax. And then another optional thing that you can choose to have is carnauba wax. And all that does is give it a harder, shinier finish, but I don't really need that. So I decided to go without it. So there are different ways that you can do this. You can either do this by measuring the amount of ounces something weighs, or you can do it by percentages. I'm doing it by percentages just because I don't have a way to weigh all this stuff. The mixture is going to be 12% wax and then 88% turpentine. First, we gotta start by melting down the wax. For this project, you're also going to need gloves for the turpentine because you don't want to get this stuff on your hands. Once the wax is melted, then pour whatever amount that you're going for into there, then get the turpentine, and then mix however much you need of that with the beeswax. Then just stir it all together. Beeswax has to be melted when you do this or otherwise it doesn't exactly come out correctly. And for me, the beeswax is not melted right now. So once it's done, turn off the heat and put the lid on it. Now just let it cool. Now that the furniture polish has set, I can show you guys how it works. So first you start by getting a cloth and then spread it in small circles over the part that you need to be polished. I'm just doing a small section of this board so that you can see the difference. And once it's sat for a while, take a cloth and buff all of that out. I don't know how well the difference shows up on camera, but in person you can tell that it's much shinier, much cleaner, and also much smoother than the part that didn't get the furniture polish on it. Up next is honey ice cream. For this, you are going to need vanilla, honey, heavy whipping cream, milk, salt, and eggs. To start, you're going to need a medium saucepan and then you're going to want and then you want to combine one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream one and a half cups of whole milk and one third cup of honey After you combine all that, you're going to want to put this over heat. Before starting to heat it, make sure to stir it. And then leave it over medium heat, stirring frequently until it is at a simmer. Once it's at a simmer, turn off the heat, set it aside and also make sure to cover it. Now you're going to need five eggs. With these eggs, you are going to want to separate 
the yolk from the rest of it. Once the yolks are separated, you can get rid of the egg whites. Then begin whisking the yolks. As you whisk, pour in some of the other mixture to temper the egg yolks. Once the egg yolks are thoroughly whisked, dump the entire mixture back into the saucepan. Once it's back in the saucepan, put it back over heat. Again, over medium heat. And continue to stir and scrape the bottom of the pan. As you do this, mix in vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. You'll know that the mixture is done once it's thick enough to coat the back of a spoon or about four minutes. Now you're gonna need a clean bowl and then you can pour the mixture through a fine mesh strainer into that new bowl. Now take the mixture and put it in the refrigerator and leave it in there for three hours or overnight. Now that this is done cooling, I can go ahead and pour this all into here. This is an ice cream maker, so if you don't have one of these, uh, you kind of need it to make the ice cream. All right, and it looks like it's done. Looks like it got a little bit thicker than I wanted it to get. Well, now I think it's time for a taste test. This will be my first time ever trying honey ice cream, so. It just tastes like vanilla custard. I mean, it definitely does have that hint of honey and that makes it really, really good. But for the most part, it's just vanilla custard. Actually, the aftertaste is much more honey. I'm gonna say that's significantly better than just normal vanilla custard. All right, next up is honey butter. And I know that I said that I would be using the recipe from the book for these, but in this case, I'm not because I don't want to make one whole pound worth of this stuff. So I'm going to be making one fourth of the amount of the original. So first things first, I'm going to get a stick of butter, put it in the bowl, and then I'm going to microwave this until it is a liquid. And the butter is melted. So I'm just going to stir it up a little bit. And now to add the only other ingredient in this recipe, honey. And I'm going to need 1 16th of a cup for this. But since I don't have a 16th cup, I'm just going to be doing half of an eighth of a cup. Now, the, now that the honey is in there, I'm just going to stir it up until it's thoroughly mixed. And now that this is thoroughly mixed, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the freezer until it is reset into something that's not a liquid. All right, and finally, I'm going to taste test the honey butter. So this piece of bread right here just has normal butter on it, and this one has honey butter. So I'm going to try this one first in order to get a baseline. Yep, that's exactly how I expected it to taste. Just butter on stale gluten-free bread. So now it's time to try this one. That's actually quite good. Probably not for like a meal with dinner, but like if you were eating breakfast and you had toast with this butter and maybe some cinnamon on it, that's delicious. So it's definitely worth it making this. Well, that's the end of this video. In the end, I definitely recommend 
that you make some of the stuff shown in this video. If you want to get into making stuff that's not just honey. Also to end this video, I would like to say a huge thank you for 50 subscribers. It's great to finally see this channel growing for the past few months after this channel had almost no growth over the summer. And I'm hoping to continue to see growth of this channel. I'm going to be putting a lot of effort into making my videos better. And if you guys have any suggestions for that, then feel free to leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.